Thank you for tuning in to Iron Point Tech. Today, I'm gonna to show you the best settings for Streamlabs OBS, specifically for your stream, so that you can fix any of your laggy streams and have minimal dropped frames during your stream. Because I struggled with this for a while, and I watched a lot of videos looking for how to fix my stream because it dropped so many frames and it looked so choppy. And there's a lot of different settings that are gonna be custom to each PC and your internet speeds that you have, specifically your upload speeds. So we're gonna go over video settings, we're gonna go over output settings, and then one additional tip that was the most important thing that I did to help fix my laggy stream. So first, we're gonna jump into the video settings. So first, you're gonna to wanna to go into settings and then we're gonna go into your video settings now the base resolution should be the size of your monitor. People debate if you should drop it lower. Um, you can test multiple different options there. I recommend keeping it your base resolution as your monitor size. And then your output can be changed if you're having issue streaming or if you're needing to lower the quality a little bit, you can lower it to 1920 or lower it to 1280 by 720. Uh, and then the downscale filter I recommend using the sharpened scaling 32 samples. And then when you get the FPS type and common FPS value, do 60 frames per second, 59.94. Uh, if your PC and stream can allow it, if you're having quality issues, some people do drop it down to 30 frames per second if they're realizing they're dropping a lot of frames or they're having a lot of issues with just their PC in general. So I recommend though keeping it at 60 frames per second if you can. And then jumping into the output settings. So keeping this just at simple mode, we're gonna look at the video bit rate here. This bit rate should be subjective based on your upload speed. And if you're wanting to know your upload and download speeds, you're gonna need to go open your browser and go to speedtest.net and then run a speed test to get your download and your upload speed. You can see I have 890 download megabytes and 700 megabytes upload speed. This isn't meant to be a flex, I just pay for high speeds. So if you run this test and you're finding your upload speed to be 18 megabytes or 10 megabytes, you're gonna want to convert that into kilobytes because the video bit rate is 6,000 kilobytes per second. Whatever your megabytes are, you just multiply it by 1,000. So if you have eight megabytes, you multiply that by 1,000 and that's you know 8,000 kilobytes. So you'll be able to technically stream with a video bit rate of 6,000 kilobytes, but your computer is gonna be doing other things. So I just recommend dropping that bit rate down a little bit lower. You don't wanna take chances, especially if you have a slower upload speed. And so you can lower that to 4,000, you can lower that to 2,500, and you can test this on your stream to see what the best bit rate is for you. And then the encoder. You're gonna wanna keep it in the NVENC new this is because there's specific chips in all of the newer GPUs that is that is going to be used for encoding that doesn't cause strain on the rest of the GPU or doesn't cause strain on your CPU. So if you choose software, this one is gonna be pulling from your CPU, which we don't want that. So keep it on NVENC new. So we're not gonna worry about your audio bitrate. that'll be good. And if you're wanting to get a little bit more focused or specific with your settings outside of just this simple mode, you can go into advanced and there's a couple different options there. One, this audio track, you can see it's specified on audio track one. If you've added in audio sources into your sources that show up here, it automatically defaults to audio track one so they will be recorded. But if you're nervous and just wanna double check, you can always pull up these settings and you can see that all of these audio sources are showing up for track one, so they will be recorded. Next, looking at the rest of these options, if you're wanting to get specifics with how, what your PC can handle and with the resolution you're going after and then what Twitch recommends, just pull up a browser and Google Twitch encoding chart. Hit enter and then just click on the first option here. And you can see that Twitch gives a lot of specs recommendations for what you're going to be using. So specifically for the NVENC encoder, which I recommend, it's showing you different frames per second and different resolutions for what your settings are currently set up as. So if you're doing 30 frames per second or 60 per frames per second, there's gonna be a few different settings you're gonna to wanna to change. So you can see here, I've already gone over a lot of this, but the bit rate is gonna be 6,000 kilobytes per second if your upload speed can handle it. Uh, keep rate control is CBR, 
frame rates 60 to 50 frames frames per second and then here's a couple additional ones that we haven't covered so keyframe interval and then b frames and preset quality so if you're in here the streamlabs obs settings you can see keyframe interval is at zero so we're going to want to change that to two and then the preset is for quality i have it on performance we're going to select that to quality and then we have the max b frame set up as two so nothing else needs to be changed in these settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Those are all of the recommended settings from Twitch based on the encoder that you're using. And now the last step. So I've done all of this and then I've still streamed and had really choppy or laggy streams. Now the last step is one that is about prioritizing resources on your device. So Windows wants to give you the best gaming experience possible. So if you open up your Streamlabs OBS normally, and then you open up a game and you start streaming and you start playing the game, Windows is allocating all of its resources to giving you the best gaming experience. And as it should, you have a gaming PC and you wanna make sure it has the best settings, but then your stream might be showing up with dropped frames and just be terribly laggy and it just looks atrocious. It just looks atrocious. So what you're gonna wanna do is open up and run your Streamlabs OBS as an administrator. So here I'm right clicking and then I go down and I click run as administrator. Now, after you run it as an administrator, what you're telling Windows to do is prioritize Streamlabs OBS above all else. Now, it doesn't take a lot of resources to run Streamlabs OBS, so you're really not gonna sacrifice a lot of quality in your game but on the flip side your game will take a lot of resources before it even gets to streamlabs obs so you're just gonna have a bad experience there so if you run it as administrator windows will be sending those resources into streamlabs obs about who knows like 20 percent, and the rest 80 percent is going to go into your game so when you're playing your game you're not going to notice a lot of dropped quality but your stream is going to run very smooth with minimal dropped frames i cannot express this enough this was literally the fix all for all of the issues I had after I set up all of these settings. So go in, run some tests, run your Streamlabs OBS as an administrator, and then you'll be able to stream with minimal dropped frames and you won't have to worry about those laggy streams anymore. So if you like what you heard here, or if you have any additional tips or tricks in terms of optimizing your stream performance using Streamlabs, drop them in the comments below. Uh, and don't forget to check out another video and subscribe, always subscribe.